Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to Libra's Way. So we're gonna chat quickly about why 2023, in my opinion, will be the most auspicious year of this entire decade. Now, a lot of people want to argue that maybe the Roaring Twenties will be the most auspicious time of the decade. Some people wanna argue that, you know, uh, even 2020 or 2024, is the most auspicious time of this entire decade. However, I believe that 2023 is the most auspicious year of this decade. Um, and I say that because I feel like, first of all, 2023, two plus zero plus two plus three is number seven. Seven is lucky, seven, seven, seven. When you think of a slot machine, you think of lucky seven. When you think of, um, I think of a dice. I don't know why, but uh, you know, lucky seven as well. For some reason, the lucky number seven feels important, and numerologically, seven means luck. Um, now, I also believe that this is the most auspicious year of this decade because a lot of people have not been able to travel during 2020, 2021, even into 2022, people have felt nervous. We haven't really had a break yet, and we're going to need an in-betweener sort of year for uh, people to feel like they can be free again, okay? Free from the past and free from the future. I feel like in regards to the fact that we're probably headed into another war, unfortunately, a large one, a large scale type of war during or towards 2024, five, six, maybe seven, but mainly four to six. We're also going to be feeling and looking at, well, nobody wants to do anything during a war. Everybody's afraid, especially if it's a world war, which is what the hype is kind of all about. So, We've had this time frame of three years, 2020 to 2022, where it's been, we're stuck inside. And then we go to 2024 to six, which is this anticipated time frame for the war. 2023 is that in-betweener phase, okay? That's my opinion. I believe that a lot of amazing things are going to happen out of nowhere, good and bad. Good because will potentially be able to travel internationally without feeling this, the repercussions of, oh, you didn't do this. So therefore, whether you agree with it or not, you didn't do this. Well, you can't travel because you didn't do this thing, because this thing is preventing you. You doing this thing is preventing you from going somewhere, right? Or you filling out all of this extra paperwork or doing all this extra stuff to get to your destination is going to prevent you. I feel like this year is a good year to travel, see the world, expand your horizons. And that's also part of number seven, expansion and horizons. Okay, now the other part of the reason that this is going to be the most auspicious year of the decade is because Jupiter will be in Taurus or will move into Taurus. So a lot of people are going to see their wealth potentially take off, although there will be a crash, a large crash. It'll be an opportunity for people to cash out when the crash falls, they cash in at low prices, and then it takes back off. And by the end of 2023 or 2024, we start to see that bull run. But 2023, pardon me, is when you're able to accumulate the most in some way, shape, or form, whether it's because of the profits that you take or it's because of the market crashing and the ability for you to accumulate certain stocks, certain coins at a discount, dirt cheap prices. So there's this ability to accumulate, to gain, to build, to uh, become super auspicious in this way that perhaps we have not seen in the past or for a very long time. And it'll be beneficial because people are going to kind of see it coming and happening. They will already be intertwined with this energy because in 2020, although there were opportunities, for example, Bitcoin was at 3,800, Ethereum was at one or $200. They were not aware of that energy. So for the collective, the most auspicious time 
where people are in the know will be 2023, in my opinion. Again, it's this in-betweener time before some things ramp up. And of course, 2024, five and six, unfortunately, whenever we have significant wars, we have significant profits that are made because things are pumping out of control. And in particular, because the currencies, the global currencies around the world will start to shift gears into cryptocurrencies for those of you, of course, who are interested in that energy. This is also going to be auspicious time for love, true love and soulmates to come together. And we have the six of cups, we have the emperor and we have the justice card. Justice, do justice for people to finally align, for the ability for sort of the things of the past to be let go. It's almost feeling as though, although there's this energy at the bottom of the deck with the three of swords, it's like, that is the past. That's why it was at the bottom of the deck because it doesn't really matter anymore. It doesn't really serve people anymore. But with the six of cups here, again, it's this offering from the universe in 2023 to embrace and embark on this next phase with more confidence. The Stoic Emperor and the Justice card provide us with this support in 2023. Let's cut the deck in half. Deception is at is coming to an end as well in regards to the collective's ability to not only they're auspicious and not only romance, career, finance, the ability to take profits and things. But it's also about being in the know, not being confused about or deceived in regards to how to store money, where to store money, how to gain knowledge and information, how to research things and become more secure overall in all walks of life, in all ways, shapes and forms. This is more about being well-rounded and finding this um, this comfort and this ability to to see this through. And also, interestingly enough, if I am not mistaken, please confirm if I'm incorrect. But I believe that Jupiter is also the seventh planet in the solar system, so that could also play a major factor and could bring things full circle in regards to that. Let's shuffle a little bit more and pull some final cards for this quick, informative, hopefully informative for you guys, a bit of information. Relaxing, resting, because I'm hearing I rest my case. So again, it's confirmation. Now, of course, we are still in this cycle where we're, we're kind of towards the beginning of a cycle, uh, closer to the middle of the cycle, because the middle of the cycle, of course, comes during the mid-20s, when we're at the height of sort of at, being at war with uh, situations, right? And of course, that kind of filters into or moves into why there's a war. Because if you think about cards, the Ace of Pentacles is one, and the Nine of Pentacles is close to the end of the cycle. So 2024, 23, 4, 5, you know, you're coming out of this beginning of a new phase in life, and you're moving towards, closer towards sort of the issues at hand that will be. So it's just a sort of a friendly reminder to prepare for that in whatever way you see fit, because this is a collective energy discussion, reading. Um, now, the other card, last but not least, that I want to pull for you guys, just because I want you to refer to this, and they're showing me this card, is the Three of Pentacles, number three. This is a time during 2023 to build, to be promoted, to prosper, to acquire, to accumulate, to gain. An abundant time indeed. So with that being said, 
I feel like I covered all of the major points that I wanted to in regards to why I feel that 2023 will likely be the most auspicious year of this entire decade. I hope that this helped you all. Thank you for tuning in to A Libra's Way, and I will see you in another video. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.